In the name of Allah, the most merciful, the most beneficent, may mercy, peace, and blessings of Almighty Allah be upon all of you. Welcome you all in this our lecture series program. This is our lecture 18, and uh, we are going to talk about syntax, deep and surface structure. This topic is very important for the students of MA English, BS English, and equally crucial for the aspirants of lecturership. We are going to talk about uh, the topic from the content and introduction to linguistics semester one. So let's talk about our today's topic and the syntax points under discussion in the lecture. What are the major points we are going to discuss? Number one, definitions of syntax. We already have discussed, but we are just repeating it. And the most important and new in this uh, lecture is a deep and surface structure. Secondly, this is syntax structure uh, in which uh, we are going to learn uh, that morphemes uh, makes words and uh, words make phrases and phrases make clauses and sentences. So this is actually a chain of how we are going to make sentences in a language. And at the end, we are going to discuss structural ambiguity in syntax study. So let's talk about and the number one syntax. The word syntax comes uh, uh, originally from the Greek uh, which literally means a uh, putting together our arrangement. So when we are talking about syntax, we are talking about putting together our arrangement uh, of a sentence. What are the um, chunks or what are the units we are going to put into a sentence and make a larger um, units in the language. So in earlier approaches, when we are talking about syntax, there was an attempt to produce an accurate description of the sequence or ordering arrangement of elements in the linear structure of sentence. So here, when we are talking about uh, the approach syntax, uh, it was started to talk about the sequence or ordering arrangement. Like we were talking about the subject, verb and object in a sentence. So this was an order how we are going to make sentence. But in more recent attempts to analyze the structure, there has been a greater focus on the underlying rule system that we use to produce or generate sentence. But uh, you see, um, the most recent study uh, in syntax uh, uh, is we are talking about the rule system. What are the rules we are going to make sentences in a language? So uh, these are some of the points we have taken from the book, The Study of Language, uh, written by George Yule in uh, sixth edition. Again, when we are talking about uh, syntax, there um, is a point a deep and surface structure. The terms deep structure and surface structure were introduced by Noam Chomsky as a part of his work on transformational grammar. So when we are talking about this term deep and surface structure, this was given by Noam Chomsky when he was working on transformational grammar. Later, we are going to learn what is transformational grammar. Here today, we are going to uh, learn what is deep structure and surface structure. So uh, Noam Chomsky worked upon this um, so here we are going to learn deep structure is concerned with meaning, number one, and this is very important. And what we are going to talk about surface structure is concerned with grammar. For example, there are two sentences, Charlie broke the window. And number two, the window was broken by Charlie. Now you see these are two different sentences. When we are talking about their meaning, so meanings are the same uh, in these both sentences. But when we are talking about the structure or grammar, so there is difference of grammatical structure. That is surface structure. And when we are talking about the meaning, so uh, it is uh, the deep structure of the syntax. Again, deep structure refers to concepts, thoughts, ideas, feelings. And when we are talking about the uh, surface structure, where is surface structure refers to the words language uh, we use to represent the deep structure. And again, uh, students, 
deep and surface structure have you ever experienced a situation where you felt the words were not enough to express what you had in mind so this situation deep structure is what you wish to express which is something inside in your mind and when we are talking about surface structure how you express it uh, in with the help of uh, words and sentence so you see this picture represents the best um, what we learned about the deep structure and surface structure so deep structure you see this is uh, what we wish to express which is something in our mind which is an abstract and when we are uttering those uh, 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 the thoughts into words so this is all about the surface structure and uh, when we are talking about deep structure is the abstract structure which allows to know what the sentence means so deep structure is actually the abstract um structure and which is concerned with meaning and when we are talking about surface structure is actually produced structure it refers to the sentence as it is produced or written so this is actually the concrete form of the uh, language when we are talking about a deep structure it may then be said that the deep structure expresses the semantic contents of a sentence so this is obvious and when we are talking about uh, where is the surface structure of a sentence determines its phonetic form so when we are talking about the deep structure it is concerned with the meaning again semantic uh, contents and when we are talking about the surface structure it is concerned with the phonetic form again um, students when we are talking about deep and surface structure for example there uh, are sentences charlie broke the window now this is an active sentence the window was broken by charlie once again this is a passive sentence so you see students um, these both sentences are having same meaning but there is difference of the uh, grammar some linguists particularly noam chomsky state um, that these two sentences are distinct different surface forms grammar that derive from a common deep surface meaning so it is the same when we are talking about the uh, surface structure we are talking about the grammar and when we are talking about the deep structure we are talking about its meaning so this is all about the deep and surface structure again here when we are talking about a syntactic uh, analysis syntactic units or grammatical items words morphemes and phrases clauses and sentences are grammatical units in a language you see uh, these are the uh, units which make these sentence so this is study is all about the syntactic analysis in syntax or sentence structure in a language so morphemes make again words and words make phrases phrases make clauses clauses make sentences in a language you see this is the order from the smallest structure to the longest in a language the smallest structure is morpheme and the longest structure is a sentence in a language again students when we are talking about a structural ambiguity in a syntax it is ambiguity in the use of language when a sentence has a, a double meaning for example i once shoot an elephant in my pajamas so this is a comic sentence and it could have two meanings number one i shoot an elephant while i was in my pajamas or it could have been i shoot an elephant which was in my pajamas so these uh, two meanings are our interpretations could have been of this sentence so this is the structural ambiguity in a language when we are talking about and this study is called a uh, syntax study in linguistics thanks for attention thank you very much hopefully this could have been a very uh, helpful lecture for all of you assalamu alaikum